What's up everyone? This is Ryan with UniqueApps.com. I've got a really cool video for you today. I'm actually going to show you how to cut, copy, and paste on the iPhone today. I'm using the iPhone 3.0 firmware right now. And if you haven't seen my video reviewing um, the overall features of the firmware, uh, go ahead and look below this video if you're on YouTube and it will be a video response to this video. So if you want to see the full uh, review of the 3.0 firmware, go ahead and watch that video. But I wanted to do the cut, copy, and paste in a separate video because I wanted to cover this um, this uh, functionality of the iPhone. I wanted to cover it in its own video because there's a lot of different ways you can use this um, in many different applications. So I'm just going to get straight into the um, to the to the uh, review right now or to the demo right now. What I did is I opened up a note or I opened up the notes application. For the iPhone, and um, I've started this this uh, testing iPhone 3.0. I started this new note. Now, basically, how you um, cut, copy, and paste it'll give you a couple different. Um, first off, if I double tap this text, it'll now bring up a cut, copy, and paste um, little little header bar, I guess you can call it. And you'll see blue dots on on either side of this copy. There's a blue dot on the top and a blue dot on the bottom. If I take that and drag that, I can drag that to, let me use my pointer finger so you can see that a little better. Um, I can drag that, oops, to anywhere I want on that text and it's also going to change that little header. It's going to change it to a little viewfinder so I can see exactly a little magnifying glass of where, where that text is stopped. Once I stop, it'll give me that menu again. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then now I can click anywhere on this notepad double tap and it'll say select select all and paste I'm going to go ahead and paste that right there so there and then there was just a copy feature now I can again I can do the same thing I got to double tap that I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this now and I'm gonna hit return here and again I double tap here and I paste the thing that I don't like about the iPhone uh, or the iPhone 3.0 this this new firmware is in order to undo that paste, you have to shake your iPhone. So when I shake it, and it's it's kind of buggy, but when I shake it, it'll bring up this menu that says undo paste or cancel. I'm gonna go ahead and undo paste, and it'll undo that what I just did. So again, it's kind of buggy. I don't know if I like that feature just yet, but again, we are in the beta version of this software. Um, the next thing you can do is if I just um, select this, or I just tap into this text, Right there, it'll bring up this menu that says select, select all, or paste. I'm going to go ahead and six, or hit select, and it'll select just that text that I have pasted. And let me get off of that real quick, and I want to show you now I can click, um, I have to actually click in a body of text. Um, it'll, I can click select all, and it'll select basically everything on this page. And now I can drag this up and down to wherever I want to cut or copy. Um, and do the same thing. So I can copy this whole body of text. And now I can go down here, double tap, and click paste. And it'll paste every bit of that text right there. So that's the notes feature. I also want to show you a real cool feature now. Um, within certain applications, or actually I'm going to go to Safari first. I'm going to load Safari. And um, you see I already had it up there right now. I've got on my website, uniqueapps.com, this is just one of my uh, blog posts. If I now, um, this is again, this is within a Safari browser. I'm just going to make sure that you know this. So I'm going to refresh this page. Um, might take a second. My blog takes a little while to load on an iPhone. But um, after this page loads, I'm going to show you how to copy certain text within Safari. So now I can, I can zoom in here if I want. I don't really have to zoom in here. But if I just click and hold on a body of text, you can see what came up right there. Now I can copy this text and you can see these blue, um, these little blue dots here. I can actually drag this text uh, longer or, or shorter if I can or wider. So uh, you can see I actually have a big body of text in there right now. I can click copy. And then now I'm going to go back to, let's say I'm going to go back to the notes. I'm just going to do it within this note um, just because I, I don't want to start a new note. Um, and um, another thing, as you can tell, it does take a little while to load. iPhone 3.0, again, because this is beta, it, it does take a little while to load. So um, now I'm going to return down here. I'm going to double tap. And since I just copied that big body of text, I'm going to click paste. And now there's the text. Obviously, it doesn't look as good as it would on my blog, but that's the exact text on my blog. 
I can copy that into a note, I can copy that into an email, anything like that. Um, so you can go within, um, so actually let me show you that real quick. I'll go to the messages um, and let's go to a new message down here. It's checking for my mail real quick. Uh, once it checks for my mail, I'm going to type a new message real quick and I'm going to paste that exact same text that I copied. I don't know why it's taking so long to load right now, but I'm going to paste that same text that I copied into, there it goes. I'm just going to go um, into this and I'm going to double tap here and I'm going to click paste. So again, now obviously that because it's it's it gets a little, um, the little smiley face icon, oh, you probably can't even see that yet. So little smiley face icons and stuff. So this is actually the exact text. That it looks exactly like it does on my blog. So again, you can paste into many different um, many different apps now. You can paste into your messages, into your mail, into your notes and stuff like that. Um, so now I'm going to go out and I'm going to show you um, a really cool thing now. I'm going to load my Twitter client, Tweety. You can actually copy URLs and you can copy text in this client too, or in, in third party apps too, which is really neat. So I'm on unique apps. If you're not following me actually um, on um, on Twitter, go to uh, twitter.com forward slash unique apps and you can actually follow me there. So I'm going to go here and what I'm doing is I'm going to load my recent tweets um, and I'm going to show you how you copy a URL. So um, here's a tweet, here, here's a Twitter message that I posted last night. Um, picking up some more gift cards for you guys and I actually have a picture I'll show you this picture really quick um, if I just click on the picture it'll open the picture up now in a um, in a different um, or in, in the browser within here and so you can see I have some gift cards I was actually at the Apple store so I can go back and now to that specific message and instead of just tapping on it if I click and hold it it'll now bring up this menu that either says open, copy, or cancel. So now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Now I can go out again to any different thing. I'm gonna go again, let's say to the notes feature. And now I can paste just that URL. So now this copy feature again, it, um, it allows you to paste and copy along many different, um, different apps. So I'm gonna click up here in the middle and double tap and I'm gonna click paste. And there's that icon, twitpick.com, or that icon, there's that URL that I just copied, twitpick.com forward slash 289QS. So again, really neat feature, the cut, copy, and paste um, that will go across multiple apps within the iPhone. Again, this is beta software. The software is not available uh, to the public right now. If you are a developer, though, you can download this software. Um, so that's pretty much my review of the cut, copy, and paste for the iPhone. 3.0 firmware. Um, again, this is Ryan with UniqueApps.com. Please subscribe to my videos for more reviews, um, tips, tricks, and stuff on the iPhone. And um, I look forward to uh, doing some more videos for you guys, and I hope you all have a great day.